Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Joint Direct Munition JDAM is a guidance steel kit that converts an unguided free fall bomb into an accurate adverse weather smart munition. With the addition of new tail section that contains an inertial navigation system and a global position system guidance control unit, JDAM improves the accuracy of unguided general purpose bombs in any weather condition. JDAM is a joint US Air Force and Department of Navy program. In March 2022, it was reported by India Today that India has placed orders for American JDAM precision guided bomb kits to enhance the capabilities of its LC Tejas fighter jets. The acquisition of JDAM kits under delegated financial power by Air Force will enable Tejas jets to take out enemy bunkers and runways at 80 km and distances beyond. It would enable Tejas to carry out Balakot-like airstrikes with more accuracy and precision. JDAM can be integrated with 500,000 or 2,000 pound warhead as payload. It enables the employment of accurate air-to-surface weapons against high-priority fixed and relocatable targets from fighter and bomber aircraft. The guidance is facilitated through a tail control system and a GPS-aided INS. The navigation system is initialized by transfer alignment from aircraft that provides the position and velocity vectors from aircraft system. Once released from aircraft, the JDAM autonomously navigates to the designated target coordinates. The target coordinates can be loaded into aircraft before takeoff, manually altered by aircrew before weapon release, or automatically entered through target designation with onboard aircraft sensors. In its most accurate mode, the JDAM system will provide a weapon circular aeroprobability of 5 meters or less during free flight when GPS data is available. If GPS data is denied, JDAM will achieve a 30 meters of circular aeroprobability or less for free flight times of up to 100 seconds with a GPS quality handoff from aircraft. One JDAM kit costs over $24,000 and are used for bombs weighing between 500 to 2000 pounds. Now recently, a highly sensitive US intelligence documents were being circulated around the internet and on various social media platforms. Dozens of these secret documents contain detailed information about the ongoing war in Ukraine, including each side's combat capabilities and battlefield updates. One document in particular highlights the concern about US-made bomb kits which have been sent to Ukraine in recent months. The document is titled Why JDAM ERs Failing, BDA from Recent Strike, and has marking that shows that it is a secret in nature and not to be revealed to any foreign governments. As per reports from Business Insider, by the time the document was published, the Ukrainian Air Force had dropped at least nine JDAM air bombs on Russian targets. However, four of them seemed to have missed due to Russian jamming efforts. The leaked intelligence document on JDAM's review, several issues that this weapon has faced on the battlefield in Ukraine and outlines two factors potentially explaining why there has been misses. One factor is that the bomb fuses aren't arming at their release, which Ukraine Air Force has worked and fixed. The other factor, according to the document, is suspected Russian GPS jamming, which has gotten in the way of JADAM ER operation and caused some misses, which it says has happened before with Ukraine's guided MLRS or multiple launch rockets also. However, the Director of Joint Navigation Warfare Center stated based on their analysis that GPS jamming should not have affected JDAM ER strikes based on target location compared to Russia's active jammers, but other factors may have prevented JDAM ER from acquiring GPS signal. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.